Apple just released the second developer beta of macOS Tahoe 26.1, and it's already rolling out to public testers as well. This version feels less like a small maintenance patch and more like a quiet but confident step forward. I spent some time exploring every visual tweak, performance improvement, and bug fix. And here's everything you need to know. The update arrived at about 4.76 GHz on my M4 MacBook Pro, which means there's more going on here than just a stability bump. Apple seems to be polishing the experience in subtle ways, refining icons, animations, and the overall visual harmony across the system. It's not flashy, but you can feel the progress the moment you start using it. Let's start with something small but noticeable, the external drive icon. The old Sequoia era version is gone, replaced by a clean Tahoe style design that better fits the current aesthetic. It's consistent, sharp, and instantly recognizable. These little touches matter because they give macOS a stronger visual identity and remind you that every detail, even an icon, contributes to the overall feel of the OS. Next, we have desktop widgets. And this one's actually a quality of life improvement. In previous versions, widgets ignored your appearance settings, staying bright even when you switched to dark mode. That's been fixed. Now widgets automatically adapt to your system theme, subtly dimming or brightening to match the wallpaper and interface tone. It's one of those background refinements that makes your desktop feel more integrated and alive, especially if you use widgets regularly. Moving on to the TV app, which finally behaves like a proper Mac OS app again. The previous layout was glitchy, windows misaligned, buttons floating awkwardly, and search just missing altogether. Beta 2 cleans this up beautifully. The search tab returns, the sidebars scale properly, and those traffic light window controls finally sit where they should. Watching or browsing now feels smoother and more consistent with the rest of the system, as it always should have been. In the music app, Apple made a minor but interesting change. Lyrics view is no longer rounded. The corners are now squared off, giving the panel a more minimalistic and uniform appearance that matches other apps like Messages or Finder. Personally, I miss the old soft edges a bit, but this cleaner layout ties the whole interface together. It looks more professional and consistent with the flat, glassy language of macOS Tahoe. Next up is the liquid glass effect, which remains one of the most distinctive features of macOS 26. You can still toggle it off if you prefer a traditional matte look, but it's great to see that the transparency engine remains fully stable in Beta 2. Turning it off removes the visual gloss, but keeps all animations and transitions smooth, showing that Apple's framework underneath is rock solid. It's clear the company is fine-tuning how Tahoe balances style with performance. That said, a few rough edges remain. The first issue involves desktop widgets again. Sometimes they simply refuse to move when dragged or act as if they, they can be placed in impossible spots. It's a strange behavior, and while not critical, it does break the flow of customizing your workspace. Hopefully, Apple irons that out in the next build, because it's one of those small annoyances that testers instantly notice. The clock app also continues to misbehave. Its clock hands are still pure white, blending into bright backgrounds and becoming almost invisible unless you zoom in. It's an odd bug to see last this long, especially since clock visibility is such a basic design detail. Hopefully, Beta 3 finally brings the proper black or orange hands back, because right now, the clock looks unfinished. When it comes to performance, the results are encouraging. A quick Geekbench run showed a slight but consistent improvement, around 15,474 for single core and 3,819 for multi-core, both above Beta 1's numbers. That's not groundbreaking, but it means Apple is actively optimizing behind the scenes. The OS feels smoother in everyday use, window animations are snappier, app launches are quicker, and overall responsiveness feels tighter. Still, a few visual oddities linger. In the music app, search results appear strangely tiny when the lyrics panel is open, almost like the scaling doesn't adjust properly. You can fix it by resizing the window, but it's something Apple should polish soon. The App Store has a similar visual quirk, a random blank space in the Updates section that breaks the grid layout. 
It's purely cosmetic, but for a company known for precision design, even small gaps stand out. As for what's next, expect Beta 3 around October 13th. Apple usually moves to a weekly release rhythm after the second beta, especially once fall testing begins. That means the next few weeks will likely bring smaller but more frequent refinements as the company focuses on stability before the final release later this year. Overall, macOS 26.1 Beta 2 feels like a very steady step forward. Performance is up, the system is stable, and the new visual tweaks make the desktop experience cleaner and more modern. There are still bugs, yes, but nothing major enough to disrupt your workflow. Liquid Glass remains beautiful and responsive, and widgets finally feel like a natural part of macOS instead of an afterthought. So that's Beta 2 in a nutshell. Refined, reliable, and quietly evolving. If you're already testing macOS Tahoe, tell me what improvements or issues you've seen so far. Don't forget to subscribe. Beta 3 is coming soon, and I'll be covering all the changes the moment it drops.